exciting scenes there coming from Norway. Team Nigerian Colors celebrating the first African win ever at the World Championships level. Congratulations <laughs> to you guys once again. Cecilia, very yeah, excited. I, mean, I can uh, feel it. The energy right here. It's coming. Mm. <laughs> the energy is infectious and all that. We, we're like, okay, just go there, compete, and whatever happens, learn. it's good. Learn precisely. Yeah. Then bring their friends back exactly. home and start something right here and mm. all that. So we've seen what they've been able to do, just yelling the celebration, the excitement, and everything. I just remember how we're actually talking to uh, T.J. Nicole, you know, when he was talking about it and all that. Let's just see how it's going to go. Mm. But he'll be talking to us again uh, this morning. Waiting, and of course, I mean, I just want to see his face, how excited he is, just winning a game right there in Norway at the World Curling Championship, the first African to country to do that. Mm. And not just that, the fact, okay, there they are, Tijani and Susan. Good morning, and it's good to have you here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's the feeling like right now? We saw the joy, the celebration, the excitement, and all that after winning that game against France. Yeah, we're still so excited. We're a little tired now, but we're so happy, so excited. Thank you, Nigeria, for your prayers and your support. Um, mm. It was exciting. I can imagine. <laughs> I, I can imagine that. I mean... Uh, going into this game against France, uh, would you say you had the belief that you could find a way to beat them? You know, uh, it, it's an interesting thing when you're a team, you know, Susanna was just going in, let's just relax, let's just execute, let's just have fun. And I was going into it like, no, we can win, we're going to beat them, and, 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 and I know we can, we can get this. So, mm -hmm. you know, and as a team, we have to balance that out so that we, we work well and that we get it done, and we did. Okay, Susan, let me come to you here. I know how hard it can be, you know, going into a championship like this. It's more like a new ground, you know, for you guys. What was going through your mind before you started? What did you tell your husband? Um, I told him just to relax and uh, keep his intensity down. He tends to be a very intense person. Mm -hmm. it's just, and he just have fun and enjoy the game. And what? everything else will come. All right, now... <laughs> All right, now, unfortunately, you couldn't make it into the next round, but winning a game is massive, is remarkable. You guys trended all through last night, so you guys have already done well. What's next uh, for uh, Team Nigeria now in terms of curling? Well, Team Nigeria will be competing in the uh, World Mixed Championships in Aberdeen, Scotland mm. in October, and then at the Pacific um asian uh curling uh federation uh championships it's uh it's kind of like league play our league has our championships in november and so those are the two next big events for us um for the men's team as well as the women's and the mixed doubles so we will be back in nigeria this summer looking for for more athletes to join our program to mm. work with us but we really need sponsorships if we can get the word out we've proven that we can compete in the world mm -hmm. and we're hoping we can find sponsors who help us uh get to the next stage um bringing ice to nigeria itself so we can train lots and lots and lots of athletes and also just sponsorships so, so that our teams can get to china and can get to scotland to mm -hmm. compete yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know that's going to be a wonderful one when it happens and all that. Now, you started a calling uh, three years ago. What was the uh, immediate uh, reason for doing that? Uh, just, uh, you know, me and my wife, we like to do uh, activities together. Um, we like, we're very outdoor, active people. And we, we saw curling on TV and we said, you know, that's something we can do uh, as we get older. It's a, it's a sport you can do your whole life. Uh, if you uh, learn how to do it correctly. So, so we decided to take up curling, and uh, we wanted to go to the Olympics and represent our country of Nigeria uh, and show the world that just because Africa doesn't have ice, but we can still compete. Mm. Um, the cool thing, guys, is that we're the first African uh, team ever in a winter sport to go in and win a game. So that is just huge. Mm. Remarkable stuff. Uh, congratulations uh, once again. Uh, let's look ahead now. Um, the Olympics, the, the Winter Olympics is in Beijing in 2022. Is that a realistic target for you guys? Um, yes, it is. Um, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. Mm. Uh, but we have three years. We have three years, and you see what we've done in one week. Yeah, That's yeah we've seen that uh, over time. And all that. We saw what you guys were able to do in the space of three years. And you talked about, and when we were talking to you yesterday, you talked about the fact that you want to uh, bring, uh, first of all, when you come to Nigeria, you start with, you know, 
uh, bringing kids together, dry having curling. the dry curling, then before the ice, when sponsors come in. How do you want to do that? You talked about you don't be Lagos, Abuja, maybe Onicha. You're from Onicha. I understand why in the preference for that also. How are you going to go about you know, getting athletes to really want to compete in this sport that is not so popular in Nigeria? Oh, that's a great question. Um, we have already done uh, some curling camps, and we've had about 150 kids express interest. So what we're planning on doing is doing a five-year plan of bringing about 20 teams every every year for five years. So we get about 100 uh, curling, dry curling teams, and then we'll hold uh, um, league tournaments and, and championships and really just start to spread it. Part of our message as the Nigerian Curling Federation is to reach out and help kids in the, in the tough areas, at-risk kids, and uh, not only through a message of sports, but a message of uplift. Because we think that we all uh, in the, um, believe in reaching out, loving each other, and we think that through sport we can teach teamwork, collegiality, um, and pride in our nation and, and pride in our community. You know, working on cleaning up, clean air, clean climate. We think that we can do all of those things, and so over the next five-year plan, we plan to grow the sport in that fashion. All right, then, before we let you go, last one. How is the scoring done in curling? Nigerians want to know. It's not a popular sport, so they want to know, how do they do the scoring in curling? Yeah, curling is a, it, it, looks very, uh, it looks very calm and very subtle, but it's a very, very physically demanding uh, sport. And it calls for great, strong leg power because you have to kick out of that starting hack and you've got to slot. And then you've seen the sweeping. Everybody knows curling from the sweeping. You have to put over 8,000 pressure on the to get the move. Out the pressure. So there's a lot of, lot of subtlety and a lot of hard work that goes into it. Uh, you can try. So if I want to get into the sports now, what are the basic things I actually need, apart from just being able to have a very strong leg? Uh, yeah, very strong legs, uh, very strong arms. And here's the other thing. You've got to keep your heartbeat way, way down. So for mm. people like me who get very excited, used to play <laughs> football, like a lot of running and, and attacking, uh, you've got to calm your heart down so that your shot is per perfect. And so that's a... That's a new kind of training that most athletes aren't uh, used to. Mm. All right. Thank you very much uh, to Johnny and Susanna Cole for making time to join us uh, on the show this morning. You guys can go and continue your celebrations. The first African team to win a calling match. Congratulations once again. Thank and have you. A good day. Thank you. All right. Thank bye bye. You. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Excited level there. I can feel the excitement all the way from knowing. And you can understand why they've done, they've done something remarkable. That's it. La last year, we celebrated the bobsled and skeleton mm -hmm. team. So it's something very similar as well. Early right now. Mm. I mean, I love the new grounds, the fact that we, don't, we are not just restricting ourselves to what we know, which why, is football why should or we? basketball or athletics and all that. So it's going everywhere. Mm. So if you feel, okay, you can do this particular sport, just by all means, go ahead and do it. And as you said... Fine. It's something you have to have very strong legs mm. and all that. The techniques, though, something you have, they'll have to teach you. Make sure if you're an excited being like Austin and all that, always like hyper and all. Keep it down and see how you do <laughs> And the very know you flow along with it, and you'll be a good curler. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I see the sport, and it, feel, it feels to me uh, like a great uh, recreational sport. If you, it looks like bowling as well, <laughs> too. I mean, it's something that even if you don't Close want to aspire to, to do, to do it, uh, you know, professionally, it's something you can get to, to do to relax, like bowling. So there's a great, there's a great potential I can't uh, wait for it in Nigeria. Right now. <laughs> you, you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> just give it a shot and see how far I can go. Well, I'm surprised I'm just be another next one. Okay. Never know. <laughs> Never know. <laughs>